Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be the girl power tag But before we get started, I just wanted to welcome any of you guys that might be new to my channel Um, if you are, please subscribe to my um, channel by clicking down below Um, that way you get notified when I upload new videos And yeah, um, emotions heart in case you guys didn't read my username but um, I usually don't say my first name in case you guys were wondering. My name is Seep Patli, and I know that's kind of weird. Yeah, I usually just say Ocean's Heart. So now you guys know my name. I think I've mentioned it before. I just, I hardly say my name on my videos. So just in case you guys were wondering, we're starting off the new year. So just wanted to throw that out there. Anyways, question number one, it is, what does girl power mean to you? And when I think of girl power, I usually think of someone that's really confident in them with themselves. Like, you're confident being you. So I think that's really powerful, and it's just about the way you carry yourself. I think that can really um, amplify whatever you're trying to do or what you're trying to portray. Um, the next question is what is the best advice you can give to girls who want to be powerful? Um, I think it depends on what you define being powerful. I think powerful means being able to be heard and being able to um, get things done and you don't necessarily have to be talking about something big. I mean you could start off something small I mean, power can mean different things. For some people, money is power. So if you're trying to get power through money, then you got to have the money. And for that, you got to work. But if you're trying to get power through other methods, um, I think your character and your, your actions speak louder than anything else. So it also depends on your, who you are as a person. If you're someone that's valuable to others and is respected by others, that can give you great power because people will listen to you. Um, if you're someone that is disrespectful and lies and I don't know, it's just does things for people to not trust you, then people won't rely on you. People won't listen to you. And that's kind of where you will stumble upon because if people aren't listening to you it's kind of hard to get anyone to do anything i mean if you're a leader whether at school you're serving something you need people to listen to what you're telling them to do otherwise you can't get stuff done unless you do it but if it's a project that requires a lot more people you need to be able to work with those people and you can't always do things on your own okay if you could have any superpower what would it be and how would you use it if I had a superpower, I would want to fly, and if I could fly, I could get anywhere really, really fast. So maybe that could come in handy for some people. Show us your best girl power pose. Girl power. I don't know, girl power? Like, girl power? Girl power. What beauty products makes you feel powerful? I am breaking out a lot, which is bothering me. You shouldn't have to use a makeup to cover that up. I know it makes it worse or it might make it worse. It depends. For me, it just helps me cover the redness because that's kind of what's bothering me at this point. Um, but I don't know. Usually, as long as I'm not wearing too much makeup, I think I feel powerful. So foundation might be one of them for right now just because it helps a little bit to cover the redness and even at my skin tone. So I would say foundation. Why is it important to have power girls as role models? I think being a girl is awesome, and um, but I do think that having powerful and positive role models is really important just because there's a lot of people doing crazy stuff out there that can get you in trouble, can get you hurt, or can just physically hurt you, emotionally hurt you, and it's not always good to look up towards those people, especially if they're portraying something else that's not really what's going on behind curtains. So I think you have to be careful of who you idolize and who you look up to just because you never really know who that person is or what that person is going through. Okay, so the last question is what young upcomer do you think is powerful and why? Um, I don't really try to look up towards to people just because people make mistakes and they have flaws. And I mean, there's really good people but I mean, someone that's well known that I would say is a good role model. 
I don't know, this might be really random, but I don't know how many of you guys watch The Real, and I watch The Real, like, on YouTube, especially on YouTube, and I love that show, and I really, I think especially I watch it because of Tamara Maori, Maori, I don't know how to say her last name, Tamara, uh, she's married now, so it's not even, what's your last name? I don't even know her last name. Okay, well, Tamara, you know, from Sister Sister, Tia and Tamara, okay, well, I think she's a great model, um, I know... I don't know, I just, I, she has Christian values, for me that's important, and I really feel like she's a really good model, although she's on the older side, so for younger people, you guys might think, like, that's lame, but for me, I think she's a great role model, she's famous, but she has very family-oriented, like, values, and I think she's a great role model, but I don't really know of any upcomers, like, new people, I don't know, I don't really watch... I don't know, but from anyone famous, that's who I would pick for now recently. So yeah, that was a little harder, but I don't know. Does that count as my answer? Maybe so. Okay. So that was it. That was a short tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be the new year's tag. I just want, I thought it would be perfect to start off the new year with like new goals and new plans.